This is uh, the second part of the video presentation for the OKO uh, Model 2. Last time I present you with the hardware, look and feel, the keyboard, uh, what's the ports included, and the one that I have last time is the XP Pro version. But this time I'm going to give you an overview of the low-end version, which is the good model. It's come with the 512 RAM XP Home. And let's take a look inside and let's turn it on. Okay, the on button's on the left. I just turn on this unit. As we charge in the unit, you can see the battery indicator, how much it's charged there. I mean, it's now it's two thirds. And Windows is loading. As you can tell, uh, it's not as bad as you would think with the 512 RAM, actually it's load, the Windows loading up from scratch from completely turn off to on is pretty quick considering uh, with only 512 and what you expect with the VIA processor but this is pretty snappy unit I think overall I mean if you're not running any serious applications I think it's sufficient uh, for most of the part using the using the 512 and the XP Home and since it's XP Homes, that wise doesn't really resource extensive as like a tablet PC or uh, the Vista count counterpart. So definitely 512 is good. Now let's go to start button and take a look here. I'm using the keyboard and the mouse to navigate now. Uh, the basic version, the XP Pro and the XP Home, and I think with the Vista Business as well, they don't come with the stylus. And I'll show you in the, in a minute why um, it doesn't come with any software to use the handwriting recognition either. Um, but let's take a peek here. So let's go to. We'll revisit that topic later on. Let's go to the system now, and let's take a look what's here. As you can see, it's a 1.2 gigahertz VIA. Of uh, it shows 444 RAM, so it's 512 minus, I believe. Uh, they're using some of the memory, f f I believe it's for the video purposes, but I could be wrong. But I, I think that's where it's gone. Now let's go to the hardware tab and let's go to the device manager. We go through one by one how Windows recognize all the hardware included in the OKO. It's loading the device manager now. Uh, it's using, it says OKO Bluetooth Radio, essentially uh, looking at the software, it's actually still a Toshiba Bluetooth 2.0. So I believe that's the same Bluetooth capability as the Sony UX. See Toshiba folder and a Bluetooth there. So let's go back to Device Manager again. And uh, you have the uh, computer, it's just a ACPI unit processor, it's Toshiba hard drive. It's 3008 GL, so it's a 30 gig, 1.8 inch version of it. Uh, it's via S3G uh, combinations of video card, uh, regular IDE channel, HID compliant devices. Even on the low end, it's already included the uh, active digitizer on the screen. Uh, as you can see, uh, the screen is not passive. It's an actually it's an active screen. It's a Wacom digitizer. So you need a digital pen to actually interact with the screen if you want to use pen at all. But uh, to me, uh, if I use OQ, mostly I would probably use the the mouse stick and the left and right button. I think it's, I feel much more natural doing that and the keyboard to open up like this, unless you want to use it uh, a lot of time with the keyboard closed posture then you might want to buy the digitized pen I mean you don't really need to buy the high end at least you need to buy the additional digitized pen to interact with the screen now let's go down a little bit oh one thing cool about this uh, if you remember on the right hand side there is a scroll but scroll button up and down so I can actually use my thumb to scroll down just slide it on the on the side to scroll down to the screen um, have the keyboard, OKO PS2 thing, mice, nothing surprising there. 
this is part I'm really happy to see it's actually using Atros as the wireless network adapter which is a really great upgrade from the old OKO and uh, with the Atros I believe by default to support uh, the Cisco security things and so it's it will be very useful for the hospital and on uh, I'm, I'm talking about the leap uh, security uh, with the Cisco wireless uh, Atros is I have a couple units using Atros that's, I mean that the hospital really love it because it's just the support is awesome I'm not saying that the other wireless doesn't support it but the Atros I, I've been a fan of the Atros wireless myself uh, via processor you see that and the sound video card here is using Sigma Tel high definition audio as you can see, as, as I scoot through, it's pretty smooth. I mean, uh, it's pre very snappy to close. The windows open up and uh, on and off, very snappy. Let's take a look on OKO setting, what stuff that you can do there. It's just a keyboard, enable key click so you can sound when you click on the keyboard. Disable automatic backlight. Uh, you can turn it on, then the keyboard will light up every time you slide on the keyboard. Uh, which is, uh, it's nice addition and you, if you're using a drag on at night. Track stick, you can adjust the sensitivity. Touch scroll, which is the one I show you on the side. Which is this guy. Okay. And there's a drop protection that will basically kill the, I mean, stop the hard drive activity when it senses that the unit is dropping. I think IBM also using that on their laptop. A lot of company actually manufacture now incorporate that technology in a different way. And the fan control, cooler or quieter. Uh, you can tell by when you say cooler, then the fan will do a lot of activity when the quieter than they try not to use the fan as much. And uh, OKO wireless dashboard essentially is just like a, a setting to turn on and off the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I don't have the Sprint built in on Verizon, but if you have one, this is where you will find that turn on and off for the WN also.